What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and today I have a sponsored review for a very interesting product that was sent to me from X-Round and this is the X-Pump Premium. And this is basically a smart audio processor for your pocket. It's like having a little amplifier in your pocket to connect to your devices to be able to create a more immersive experience when it comes to your audio. And I've uh, been testing it out, playing with it for a bit, and I'm pretty impressed with what it can do. And I'm gonna be giving you guys a very uh, real life experience so you can hear it for yourself and be able to tell the difference in the audio quality with this product but this one retails for about 130 dollars and i'll have links down below in the description if you guys want to check it out and so some just basic facts about this thing it's basically like a it's touted as a smart audio processor it has a seven hour battery life but it can also work while being plugged in through usb we're going to go and i'll show you guys what's included inside this box what comes with it and what you get out of it and then i'll kind of give you guys my personal thoughts on how my experience has been while using the x pump premium so without further ado let's get to the review all right, so first off we have the guide. Of course you'll need that user guide. That's the first thing that comes with it. Next we have the audio cable. So we have a three, two 3.5 straight plugs right there, gold plated, very nice. So that is the audio cable. After that we have the USB cable and then we have 190 degree port right here, micro USB. That's what you use to charge up the X pump. Also nice little inclusion is a little soft pouch that keeps everything all nice together and uh, keep it in your backpack or whatever so that way you have it with you good to go and you can pull it out whenever you need and have all the, the different accessories ready to go. Last but not least we have the X-Pump Premium and as you can see it's super tiny, super small, it's probably about the size of a pack of gum. And that's kind of the, really the selling point of this product, the fact that uh, there are other products that are similar to this, but none of them are really this size and this small. So this is something that's very pocketable, easy to keep with you at all times and use it with your headphones, whether it's with your, uh, your iPhone device or your other de smartphone devices, or if you want to use it while you're playing, when you're gaming and things like that, you can have this with your gaming setup, and it's easy to carry around with you. So let's walk around and go through all the different ports and buttons and such. So on the bottom right here, we have the on switch right here. So there's, right now it's turned off. Switch it up to here, that goes to for headphone mode. Keep it to the left, that's for speakers. So you need to be make sure that you switch it to the right side, depending on what you're using it with, okay? After that, we have the volume up and down buttons to increase and lower the audio, obviously. On the side here we have the audio in, and that's what you would plug in your device, so whether it's a computer, whether it's uh, your iPhone, uh, any, any kind of smart device, this is what you'll, you'll plug into here. And then on the back other side of here we have the out, and that's what would go to uh, your speakers or your headphones. Okay. On the top we have the micro USB and that is uh, twofold. So that's what you use to charge up the battery. The battery in here lasts for seven hours. And so you can uh, use the micro USB cable to charge it up or it also behaves as a USB DAC, a digital analog converter. And you can plug this into like your PlayStation, your Mac, your computer, and you can switch the audio go to go into the USB. And then so it goes from USB, digital analog out through the headphone jack and you can also listen to audio like that. And I'm gonna give you guys a sample of what the audio sounds like using this, the, this product uh, set up with the DAC system right there. Last but not least, we have the effects button on the front right here. So that on the front right now, let me see, I think it is, so it is turned on because we do have the LED status light letting us know it is turned on. So when it's white or it's clear, that means it's not being engaged. You press it one time and it has the white light and that is the digital, the detail booster. And that's pretty much good for all types of music. And then if you press it one more time, then it goes to orange. And so this is like a full scale enhancement designed for like movies, for gaming, and for music as well. Most of the time I kept it in the orange just because you're basically getting full boost when it is in that mode. So those are the basic physical aspects of this. It's very tiny, very lightweight, very small, so easy to carry around with you. And a seven hour uh, battery life, which is pretty nice. And everything that you need to be able to hook this up to any other devices is gonna be included like I already showed you. You can keep that in the pouch. All right, so now let's talk about sound quality. Now I know that this is something that's very subjective for a lot of people. Obviously the way I hear things, the way someone else hears things, I'm not an audiophile, so the way the audiophile will hear things is gonna be two different scenarios, okay? But I wanted to give you guys the most honest representation of what this sounds like when you're using it. And I was gonna plug into some speakers, use my recorder, my, my, my recorder I have right here, and plug it into that and let you hear whether it comes out of the speakers. But then I'm thinking, okay, it's only gonna be as good as the speakers that I find to play it on and only as good as the microphone I'm using to record that audio. So I scratched that idea and I figured, you know what? I'm gonna plug this thing directly into my H5 recorder that I have right here. I'm gonna plug this directly into there and then it's gonna come from my computer. So I'm gonna be using the USB DAC. So through USB on my Mac, I'm gonna plug into this. So USB digital analog into here. 
and I'm gonna record some music and I'm gonna play and I'm gonna put on the screen I'll let you know when I'm switching between the different settings just so you guys can experience it for yourself now I do realize that doing it this way is not hundred percent perfect either because depending on what you're listening to this video with will you know will affect the quality of what it sounds like so I just want you to notice how it kind of accentuates and, and, and adds a little bit more fullness to the audio itself as you're listening to it. Hopefully, it'll come through depending on what you're using to listen to this, but I just wanna explain that to you so you realize it as you're listening to it that this is not a perfect example or perfect scenario to show you the quality. I just, wanna, I just want you guys to experience the fullness that this product can kind of output when you're listening to music, okay? So with that, I just wanted to give you guys that warning, so let's check out some audio samples. So what do you guys think? Did you notice a difference in the quality of the audio? I certainly did see some kind of a difference. I even wrote my notes down here. I wrote, uh, it kind of warms up the tone a little bit. It creates a, maybe a more fullness, uh, a greater separation between the instruments or the different uh, things that are creating sound, whether you're playing a game or video games and things like that. Um, I don't know if I would say that it creates a surround sound experience, a, a full surround sound effect, but it's definitely a bit more immersive when listening to music, watching movies, playing video games. It is definitely bumping it up quite a bit, and I was pretty surprised on how well it did that. I don't know if $150 is a reasonable price for this product, type of product because, like I said, there's other products that you probably get for a little bit less. There's some products that are slightly more, but maybe give you better quality. But I think the bigger selling point to this product is that it's small, it's pocketable, it's easy to carry around and use it with you, whether you're going to a friend's house, playing some PS4, or you just want to keep it with you while you're riding the bus and listening to your headphones, okay? So I listened to this with the different scenarios like that, and I, and I found my experience to be very positive while using it. So that's pretty much it for me today, guys. If you have any questions about this product, please post them down below in the comment section. I read every comment in all my videos, and I always answer back as quickly as possible. If you want to check out some of my other videos, i got two other ones here you can click on. I have my latest video and probably another headphone review. I'll pop up on there as well. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be alerted to all my new reviews, make sure you click on my face and also make sure you ring that bell. All right, guys, that's it for me today, and I'll see you in the next video review.